Hey, Positively Debbie, and this is day three of the vlog series of remaining positive when you only want to look at the negative. And today is a really hard day trying to stay positive because my ankle that I had surgery on is in a lot of pain, and it's been in a lot of pain since last night. And I have to keep taking my my um, super duper painkiller meds like every I'm supposed to take them every four hours but I've been taking them like every three and a half hours sometimes because it just starts hurting bad and um so I, I am kind of having a little bit of a hard time today trying to stay positive but I was like six six more weeks of this in a cast I don't know I'm not in a cast yet but I'll get a cast on Tuesday but six weeks three weeks in a cast uh, and this non-weight bearing stuff is getting old my armpits are starting to hurt from the crutches anyways that's that wasn't very positive i'm trying to be positive truly truly at least i'm laying in bed i've been crocheting um i've been crocheting and watching tv i think i'm gonna go um download some of the harry potter movies and watch them um I'm really flush. My face looks really red, but um, I'm dealing. I'm dealing with it. I got this. I can do it. Um, can't wait till I get my knee walker, so I don't have to use crutches. Um, cause those crutches hurt. All right. I'm trying to remain positive. Be positive, even when it's negative. Peace out. Bye. Thanks for watching. So. I just wanted to come on and briefly show you what I do in my passion planner. Um, I haven't done my passion roadmap yet. I've done it in other passion planners, but I haven't done it in this one yet. Um, so I like filling mine in. I don't have any rhyme or reason to my color scheme. I just like making it colorful. Um, I do like on my monthly calendar. Um, if I can get it to focus in a little bit on my monthly calendars I do like to this is what I use for my appointments and I write down what bill is due when and the amount that it's due that's to help keep me in mind and um, so this this helps me a lot with my appointments and then I always write down like top priorities you know these are like some of the goals I'm working on um, and, um, yeah, so I, you know, like, lose 50 pounds is one of my major goals, and so then I write down my action steps that I can take for it. And then Gretchen Rubin wrote a book called The Happy Project, um, and she talked in the book about, um, writing the 12 commandments of Gretchen, and I thought that was a really cool idea, so I took her idea and I wrote the 12 commandments of Debbie. Writing one's personal commandments is basically writing the rules that you want to live by um, the values you know that you want to live by and you want to hold and stuff like that so I am using this because this is the first month I've started it this is the academic planner um, the navy blue academic planner so every month I mind map out my um, my my commandment for that month so in the first month I have is B Debbie um, because a lot of people are always trying to like tell you okay we'll be this way or be that way and it's like you know what that's not really me this is who I am this is B. Debbie okay and B. Debbie is organized she's sarcastic and cynical I can be sometimes negative I'm determined I'm positively Debbie I'm smart I'm loyal I love to sing and play piano I'm crafty and creative I'm funny I'm witty and I'm a writer okay um, that's the 12 commandments of Debbie. Well, that's one of the first 12 commandments of Debbie. So then I do my weekly. I like the academic planner because it has the weekly, the weekly layout right after the monthly layout. And on this, I do my daily threes in here. So I write, um, my focus for the day, um, which are like my priorities that I need to do is like, um, like Sunday is I need a rest and grocery shop. I write down my three gratitudes, my daily three gratitudes. Um, I write, sometimes I write down my bigger goals and um, 
sometimes I track what I spend. I should do that more often, track what I spend, but, um, so like three goals up there, run errands, um, price inventory, and craft. And um, then I have my gratitudes, I have my to-dos for the day, my action steps for the day, and, um, and that's how I line it up. And I try to make it colorful. Um, I like doing the this week's focus because it helps me like, okay, these are the three things I really want to focus on. Usually it's eating clean, um, doing a um, 30-day challenge, you know, and um, good things that happened. I sometimes use that. Um, like that week I had a free frap at um, Dutch Brothers, which was super good. And I got some free coconut butter at Sprouts because they were out of the little mini eggplants. So they gave us some free coco coconut butter. Um, and then I have my goals, my goals again. And then I always map out my work schedule because um, it helps me because I work, I'm doing work at home and stuff. So this just helps me like with my work schedule here, it, like helps me keep track of what I need to do, um, errands I need to run. Um, so that way I can enter it all up here and then this week things that I really need to get done and then blog post ideas so that's my week um, that's what I did for this month and then in September um, see so I have fairly busy weeks I can I can fill up a passion planner that's no problem so this week I decided I decorated it up a little bit because I have some cute stickers left over and um, I just thought they were cute and uh, and then in September oh I did my my monthly reflection um, except I'm not quite sure what this means so maybe somebody who does their their passion planner can explain if they do the end of the month checklist highlight your accomplishments Go back to your passion roadmap, highlight any goals you reached, and then reform. Choose this month's game changer from your roadmap. Use the space on the bottom right. Okay, I'm not quite sure how that works. So if anybody uses that, maybe they can explain how they use it. And then this month, I decorated it up a little bit. I put a, a little tab at the end here that says beautiful. Um... I like this quote, this little card that I had, so I stuck it in here. It says, in a single day, I have said as many as a hundred prayers, and in the night, almost as many. Um, I put this across here because I'm going to use this more for a, I think I'm going to use this more for my to-do section down here, and I'm going to, um, or, yeah, my monthly to-dos, like monthly priorities that I know I need to keep. And then my second commandment is let it go. So, so far all I have is what do I need to let go is depending on others for my happiness and well-being. And then, um, I haven't set up, well, tomorrow I'll start setting up my, uh, weekly, weekly calendar again and tracking my daily threes and doing my work schedule and doing my, um, my goals over here. And that's how I set it up. And I turned to the back and I started doing like a vision board slash kind of business plan. I've been doing the right brain business plan. I forgot who wrote it, but um, it was pretty good. So there are like three areas of my business, um, which is fitness and crafting. Actually, let's see. No, more like two areas of my business. So there's there's um there is um fitness and there's crafting and that's pretty much my two businesses so I'm just kind of making a vision board of my um my businesses so I know that in fitness I gotta be in a good mood I can't have excuses I need to eat right I never want to stop running even if I am laid up for six weeks the reason I'm laid up for six weeks is because I do want to run and I like this. This was in a magazine which happened to be my name and it says Deborah uses running to recharge and de-stress and that is so true. I really do. Running actually keeps me pretty sane. And then I like the difference between being good and great is the effort you put in. You can't just wake up and be a winner. And then I just have tips and tricks 
um, over here that inspire me. Um, and then I turn the page and the second aspect of my business is in crafting and sales. Um, so I will make this page about crafting success and it's important to make connections. So that's why I blog and I do these videos. And then I'll probably do vision boards of like my home, personal life, like my dogs and my family. Um, and I'll probably fill up these pages with collages. And then I just like using the graph paper back here to track my monthly bills and my spending back here. So that's how I use my passion planner, short and sweet. Um, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching Positively Debbie, over and out.